I really didn't expect to buy anything from Selkie's spring collection, maybe just a piece or two, because nothing really spoke to me personally, nothing really spoke to my style or my tastes, until they released the Monet collection. And once I saw that, it was all over. So today we are unboxing three pieces from Selkie's Monet Giverny collection. Hello everybody, welcome back. Thanks for being here. So this year, um, you know, I watched Fashion Week in October of 2022 and, you know, I thought there was a lot of great stuff, but nothing really, nothing really inspired me to really put in those extra hours at work and save up my money like the previous year. So I thought I might get one dress, maybe two, and that would be it. Just the prints weren't really my style. Um, then Selkie released the Monet collection. Claude Monet is one of my favorite painters. I love the Impressionists. It really, it's like pre-Raphaelites, you know, Alphonse Mucha, Impressionists. Really, they're just right there. It's a really close call between all three of those groups. And I love Monet's work. And, you know, really, it's not even something I studied in school. I learned about the Impressionists on my own, and I just wanted to learn everything I could about them. So I read all about his life and Renoir, you know, I just read all about the Impressionists and their lives and their painting styles and everything. So I've been a fan for a long time. And I knew once they said the Monet collection was coming out, I knew I was going to be spending my money on this collection. And that is what happened. So the collection released with four different paintings from Monet. You have one of his water lily paintings. You have one of the bridge, was also part of his beautiful garden at his home. And you had one that I believe was the Parliament, and only a couple of pieces were released in that. And then, of course, you had his sunflowers print. So at first, um, yeah, I, I really had a hard time choosing. I wasn't a big fan of the Parliament print. Um, and, and it had limited, you know, styles. I think it was only two styles that it was released in. But I really wanted a bridge print. I, I really wanted a water lilies and I really wanted a sunflower. So initially I just bought a sunflower day dress. I bought the water lilies dress in the seashell, which is a gown I've never tried before. And I thought, that's it. I, I can't afford any more. But then the next day I went back and I bought the angel bustle dress. I think it's actually called the Angel Mini Bustle Dress in the bridge print because I just loved this print. Now, interesting to note about this collection is that basically, even though they used the same painting, depending on the dress that the painting went on, it affected the colors. So when I was looking at which dresses I was going to buy in these particular prints, I was really looking for the way that the colors came out. So for example, I loved the Renaissance gown but the bridge painting pulled very green. So I ended up not getting that one. And I love the day dress style, but in the water lilies, it pulled too cool. I really wanted more intense, bright colors. So that's why I went for the seashell dress. So those are kind of what affected my choices and my budget was really stretched on this. That's why I kind of, this angel bustle dress was an afterthought. I just felt like if I don't get it, I'll regret it. So I went back and got it and I'm just, just gonna have to put in the extra hours for this one because I didn't save up. I didn't think I'd be buying anything from the spring collection, which was foolish on my part, so I didn't save up, and this one, this one just about broke the bank. So I have purchased those three pieces, and this video is gonna be a little bit out of order as we go through this, so we're gonna actually unbox the two that arrived first, which is the Sunflowers Day Dress and the Water Lilies Seashell Gown. The first part of my order has just arrived, and let me just apologize for this portion of the video, I'm a little scatterbrained. This is at the end of a very long work day and I got all the way home before I got the notification that I had something at the post office. So I had to turn around and drive all the way back to the post office and pick it up. And now I'm home again and I'm very tired and my makeup is running and wearing off and there's a windstorm going on. So I had to like try to run a brush through my hair really quick. and. <sighs> So this part of the video might be a little bit low key, but just know I'm super excited. I'm just also very tired from my day, but let's get to the good part because the first two dresses are here. So these actually arrived in just about a week. This was really quick shipping. And um, let's start with the seashell gown in water lilies. Um, I've never tried this style before, so I'm excited to try it. Um, oh. By the way, as you can see, I'm wearing, um, it's a Kilburn day dress, 
but I have altered the sleeves myself so that they're not the bell shape anymore. I just took out the bell shape and put the elastic back around as a cuff. And I'm actually much happier with this, but I won't do a whole video about the transformation because I just wanted to get it done and move on with my life. But I do want to mention it. I love the sleeves a lot more now. So anyway, well, the print is really pretty. And I do think that this print just did not show up well looking at the pictures online. I really think that this is a print you have to see in person to appreciate it. But I will give you the close up. It does say, and I've heard a few people complain, that it does have Monet's signature along with Selkie all over it. And yeah, that's not my favorite thing. Um, it's a little self-serving, but it is what it is. And I still think the print is really, really gorgeous. And the water lilies come out really well when you see them in person. Um, and especially as I was looking online, the reason that I chose this dress over say a day dress, which is my go-to, is that this print looked to be the most crisp out of all of them. When you compare it with the day dress, the day dress looked more pale. And then when you compare it with the organza dresses, the print just looked kind of fuzzy and it didn't look as crisp. So specifically got this because of the, the richness of the color and the crispness of the print. And I feel like I made the right choice because it really is gorgeous in person. So um, as with all selkies, you know, you have your tags here and they have started putting the do not remove tag so that people will stop reselling it as new with tags when they've worn the heck out of it and stained it. Thank you, Selkie, for doing that. Never having worn this style before, I don't know much about it. It doesn't look like there's pockets. It's very long and it's unlined, which the longer dresses tend to be unlined because otherwise they'd be too heavy. But the bodice is fully lined in a complementary color. And um, there are underwires in the cups. So that's great. And let's try this on. So as I mentioned, this is my first time time trying the seashell gown and I did not expect to like it because for my shape, it's kind of important that, that my waist is showed off. Otherwise I tend to look a little out of proportion, but I actually think this is really flattering. Um, the style alone makes me feel like I'm waiting for Mr. Darcy, but Add to it this gorgeous print, and I think that the, the little frill here at the bust and on the shoulders, I think it's very flattering. I think it actually looks really good on my shape. And I was also expecting to have to take a few inches of length off of this, but it fits perfectly. I don't know if you can see, but those are my toes. So it's not too long. It's not gonna be dragging the ground. I can probably still wear my flats with this. Um, and I, I do wear flats most of the time. I was just not gifted with the grace to wear heels and not fall on my face. That's just, I'm not talented in that way. So um, this dress is perfect. And I know everybody was kind of underwhelmed with this print, but I think it's probably my favorite, really. Um, I just, you just have to see the colors. It's just so, so pretty. There's no pockets that I'm aware of, but it's nice and light. It will be a perfect summer dress. There's the back, um, it covers my bra line. Actually, I did do a little modifications to this bra. I got a balconet bra and then I cut the straps and sewed them farther over at the side so they would stop showing with my selkie dresses. But um, yeah, this dress, it's really, really gorgeous and I love it. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and say it's my favorite. So the sunflower print, I did get in my beloved day dress style and I will probably be altering the sleeves of this day dress to be just like this one. So they're just more practical for me, but I didn't love this print when they released the teaser uh, pages of it. It really took me a while to come around. I didn't care for the pink. I didn't care for the organza. Um, but when I saw the day dress, I really did like it. And so looking at it in person, I can say that it is really pretty. And I'm very glad that I got it because the colors are vibrant. The pink, I think, actually works really well with it. And it's it's just a really pretty dress. It really is very nice. I don't know if you can see the colors, 
very well on here. I think these prints, you just have to see them in real life. You just have to see them for yourself. But it is everything you expect of a day dress. A nice weighted cotton, not too coarse, not too thin. You have just a little bit of gathering at, along the bust line that you can cinch in just a bit. Um, you know, and the sleeves are far apart. I mean, I'm wearing this dress basically just with different colors. So the fitted waist is fantastic. And I found that in the new size chart, everything really does fit true to size. And the do not remove tag is out here to keep people from reselling used garments. So let's try on this sunflower day dress. I won't say this is my favorite dress because I just said that about the previous dress and I meant it, but this is a wow factor dress. I cannot imagine going out in public in this dress and not being told every five minutes how gorgeous it is. And that's not why I get the dresses, but I just know people are going to stop me and tell me how beautiful this dress is because it, it truly, it truly is gorgeous. The colors are just so beautiful. And this palette with the pink and the sunflowers works really well. Let me show you the back. It's everything I expect from a day dress. It has the nice fitted waist and the flared skirt and these bell sleeves. Um, and actually, I probably won't change these sleeves. These actually fit really well. I just like to put on a sweater sometimes and the bell sleeves, you can't really stuff them into the sleeve of the sweater. So that's really why I alter my other sleeves. But it fits perfectly. I mean, really, at this point with the sizing chart, it feels like these dresses are made for me. And um, I'm really happy with this. Even though it wasn't my favorite print initially, I'm really glad that I got it because it's beautiful. Okay, the final dress from the collection has just arrived today. And I'm really excited to see the colors on this print. I'm just so excited. I felt like the the mini bustle dress, the angel dress was the one that really pulled the colors the way that I wanted to see them, more pinks and purples and less greens. So I hope that the colors came out beautifully and I'm excited. I've never tried this style before either, so I'm excited to try that. Oh, okay, so I see why it pulled purple. The lining of the dress is purple. That makes sense. It's really pulling purple, but that's what I wanted. Um, so pretty, it's so pretty. I don't know if you can see this dress. So it is organza and it does have the bridge right across the front bodice piece. I love the buttons on the back. So in this angel um, mini bustle, it buttons down the back and it's called the mini bustle because it is a short bustle instead of a full length gown. And I, got, I just, I hope the colors are coming through because it is so gorgeous. This is, it's, I, I have no words. It's so beautiful. It does look like, and, and this is kind of a relief, the buttons down the back are actually faux buttons. There's a snap and then a zipper, which is awesome because I, there's no way I could do all those buttons every time I wanted to put this on. And it comes with a spare button too. Um, it is organza. And so you have the top layer of organza, a lining layer, and then you have a purple, feels like cotton, maybe rayon, uh, lining layer under that, which again is why it pulls purple. And that's fantastic because that's what I wanted. Okay, well, let's try on this angel mini bustle dress. Um, <laughs> I love this. I love this dress. I'm not crazy about the sleeves. I'm not a long sleeves person. I would probably shorten them and I might have it tailored and have them shortened. But as far as the style goes, the fitted waist and the full skirt, I love. I absolutely love. Here's the bustle. So it does have a little bit of a, you know, hang down in the back. Um, the zipper was super easy. I know a lot of people complain about silky zippers get stuck. This one actually didn't, and it feels like a different zipper than what has been used in the past. So maybe they've heard people's suggestions and they've changed up the zippers. Um, you know, this dress is gonna take a quick steam to get the packing wrinkles out. But other than that, I, I probably will wear it tonight. I'm going out tonight actually, and this is probably what I'm gonna be wearing. It's really gorgeous. And I don't know, I don't think that you can see it 
from what I'm seeing on camera, it looks really green and blue, but it's not. It is actually a stunning, gorgeous purples and violets and pinks. I would like to, I'm gonna go ahead and take the bustle off. Oh, I see, okay, so the bustle does not come off. It doesn't come off, rather it shortens. So you can make it a short for your dress or you can make it a nice long train. So my mistake, there's the train. I will, I will never wear it this way, not ever. But I like that I have options. So there it is with a nice long train. Now, the thing that I don't like about this is that you do have these little elastic loops that are sticking out on the seams when you wear it long. So I don't really care for that. Oh no, wait, let me see. So there it is fully, fully unattached at the back. It, it feels a little bit like a peacock tail to me, the way it's dragging. And I will never wear it this way, not ever. But I like that I have options and it is innovative as far as design goes. So props to Selkie for that. Um, yeah, no complaints about this dress. Absolutely love it, love the colors. And I hope that the colors are coming through if they're not, you'll just have to trust me that they're fantastic. They are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for being here for this video today, guys. You know, this video was kind of um, hastily thrown together. My life is extra crazy right now. I have started working a second job to pay for some classes so I can go back to school and get some training. So I'm also in school taking classes and I'm also working as like a free internship at the job that I want to have once I get done with my classes. Plus I've got kids, you know, graduating from high school and going to prom and starting college and just all of this stuff. Um, life is extra full, extra crazy, extra busy right now. So this was thrown together rather hastily. I really wanted to do a complete history of Monet and the paintings and talk about how, you know, Van Gogh's sunflowers came out around the same time as Monet's and, and talk about Van Gogh's reaction to Monet and vice versa. But I just didn't have the time and I'm so sorry for that. But I know that you guys are here for the dresses, not the history anyway. So I know you'll forgive me for that. And I'm just, I'm glad that you were here. I'm glad that we could share this together. I hope these videos have helped you to make a decision if you're wanting to buy these dresses. And I, you know, if not, if you just like want to see some pretty dresses tried on, I totally get it. And I'm glad that you're here. So thanks for being here, guys. Um, I should have another video coming out very soon. In the meantime, you can follow me on my blog or on Instagram. I will leave promo codes for selfie plus the links for everything we tried on today and i'll see you soon bye everybody